Today on the show, we're talking with Andrew Ma, who is from Jans. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. So what have you got to show us today? Well, what we've got today is the new Jans HPC air gap dimmer slash distro. So essentially what this is, is the latest dimmer in the HP dimmer range. So before this was the HP, of which there are hundreds out there in Australia, then the HPX, and now we've got the HPC. So the main difference with this one is that we're able to both dim and switch on a channel by channel basis. So let's use this studio as an example. Yep. We've got three types of, of lamps in this studio. We've got incandescence, we've got some fluorescence, and we've got some LED fixtures out the back there. Yep. That's really common. A lot of people are going to have a mix of loads in a studio or a theatre. Now the problem is that two of those types, the LEDs and the fluorescence, aren't, aren't dimmable, largely. So what, what happens is if you put them on a dimmed circuit, even at full, you can actually send them a distorted AC wave and possibly damage your fixtures. Um, we're also the Australian Verilite distributor, for instance. Now Verilite's a, a moving light. If you put your Verilite onto a dimmed circuit and damage it, uh, it's not warranted for repair and most uh, moving light manufacturers are in a similar position. So essentially with this, fix with this uh, dimmer, you're able to, on a channel by channel basis, have, let's have the example, the first three channels could be uh, on a normal dimmed circuit, so you could run your incandescence on it. The next three channels you might have LEDs, so you'd switch them over to a switch mode. And your final, th your final half dozen or whatever, uh, you could just have permanently on if you just needed to provide clean power to other, to other fixtures. And this is all you need, just all in this one box? Yeah, sure. In, in the past, you might have had a separate distro unit and then a dimmer, whereas with this one, you've got that all in one. All right, so how would the HPC affect installations in a theatre? Well, in a venue like a theatre, no week is the same week after week. You'll have a different allocation of fixtures and you'll have um, them in all sorts of different positions and that sort of thing. If you have a whole stack of these HPCs, you're not going to have as much of a need for, for accessing a patch bay. And so, for instance, you might be powering one week, you might have uh, a rack of these powering a whole lot of your standard incandescence. The next week you might have half of it movers, maybe some of it fans or even fog machines, and some of it LED. So basically it gives you a lot of versatility. It means you don't have to buy as much patching, probably not buy as much copper and to run around your venue as well, which could, um, which could save you some cash. Um, and you won't have to buy as many dedicated distro units as well. Great. So um, can we talk about a bit of a price range yeah, sure. for this? This is your basic model. So this one has uh, 12 Aussie outlets on the back. Um, it has a recommended retail price of $4,495 and that gives you uh, 220 microsecond chokes on each channel. Okay. Now then you can go up from there. You can get higher rise time chokes, get up to a 470 microsecond rise time if you, you know, that's probably something you more use in professional theatre. And you can also get different output options. Uh, you can get hardwired outputs or you can get soccer, put, soccer pecs outputs on the back of this guy as well. Fabulous. Mm. Love it. And where can we get this from? Uh, you can inquire through Jans and we can put you in touch with your local dealer, um, of which there are many for this sort of product around the country. Fantastic. Well, there it is, the HPC Dimmer from Jans. Thank you very much for coming in, Andrew. You're welcome.